I'm at the east end of Indian Mesa with the Agrafia River, quite muddy from the recent rains we've had, but it's just been so neat to come up here to Indian Mesa and see all the flowers, all the greenery in the springtime and share it with you. It's been great. And what a better way to end it than seeing all of the ruins up at Indian Mesa and the 1200 year old Hohokam Pueblan tribe ruins up here in Arizona. This is Scotty Mack of Rubicon Adventure saying thanks for coming along. We're going to head back down and take a faster way back directly at the China Dam. It's going to be all dirt roads except for one massive ravine which is a, where prevents standard cars from making it. So it'll be about less than half the time back. So thanks for coming along. This has been a really exciting adventure. south side of Indian Mesa. Quite steep actually, despite Google Maps presentation, Google Earth. And lots of stone lodges built up right on the edge, fortified right by the entrance, the gateway. And there's only one way in or out. Upon descent, you will see the cairns and take the traverse to the left. Well, the sun has set here in the desert. That was a great hike today. But I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's get the seed out and have something special to eat. Something, just, something a just a little bit special, but a little bit familiar too. First things first. Okay. I like that about my JK magnetic everything. The new JL has so much aluminum, you know.
what a fantastic hike to Indian Mesa. Unfortunately, we found ourselves a little bit in the dark tonight and quite hungry. So, I'm going to prepare a twist on an old favorite, hamburgers. But I'm going to use the YouTuber Jeff Jean-Pierre's recipe for Salisbury steak and compound Kitchen. butter. I prefer to do a lot of preparation before I come out here so that I have great men uh, meals, but the menu is simple and easy to cook out in the wild, yet you have a twist of it, just a few better crispy Salisbury steaks and compound butter. Two ounces of brie cheese, two ounces of chopped figs, a dash of chopped parsley, and two cups of sauteed onions mixed together with half a pound of unsalted butter, and you create Chef Jean-Pierre's complex butter. This goes great for any meat, steaks, or whatever you have. The dominant flavor, even though you see a lot of things in it, the dominant flavor is butter. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a light and subtle flavor, but still goes over on any meat you can think of, or even on a piece of bread. I had 92, but I am using a GSI kit that I got from Trail Recon. Wonderful Trail Recon. Yes, that's right. We're right here. Can we get it? There we go. As you guys know, I am a Trail Recon fan, and I want to tell you about a kit I bought, the GSI kit. This is a wonderful kit. Now, I have thrown extra. It's got extra space in it, and I was able to throw a lot more stuff in here. I've got my gloves, my salts, my peppers, all my extra, my recyclables, everything I need for the kitchen. I don't even have to think. I just throw this in the basket and off in the truck we go and we can go camping. Got everything there I need. So let's start cooking our Salisbury steak with there complex butter. So I've already prepped the burger. Got. We're going to use a heavy complex butter. So I don't have any American cheese or anything like that, but we do want veggies on it. And of course, all of those, the uh, complex butter will have nice sauteed onions in it. So we won't need any onions either. So this is going to be a really nice twist, a bit more, uh, a bit more style on a classic hamburger. All right, folks, this is what compound butter is. Remember, the majority of the flavor is butter. Tonight, I'm gonna have this cooked hot and crispy. Remember, texture is the gateway to flavor. So we're gonna cook this over medium to high heat and try and get a real nice crust. We want a really nice crunchy edge on this. So we got it pretty hot in the stove, medium high to high heat. You gotta be careful not to scorch the butter. But this is gonna make a fabulous, mixed with the compound butter on top of it. You don't need cheese. There's brie cheese in there because the hamburger is cooking up nicely. That's gonna be done within a few moments. See that nice crust there that's developing? That's exactly what you want, a cascade of flavors. There, that's really caramelizing nice with that. Now I get a crust on that meat. Three cheese right on it. Boy, this is going to be fabulous. You put a lot of this, this warm butter on the bun. This really is going to up the game. It's a simple burger. Make it ahead of time. Get it ready. And it fits in the, in the freezer. If you want to go on a four-day trip, you can put these at the bottom, keep them frozen, and they keep forever. They really have brioche hamburger buns. That's it. That's all it took. Nice, quick, easy. I learned two years ago on a Death Valley trip. I'm no Marco Hernandez. I actually need to help pre-prepare everything so when I come into camp, if it's dark like this, well then I'm ready to go. I always you know? keep a spare meal in my uh, in my refrigerator so that if there if there, something does happen on the trail, we get delayed, there's hours in, I've got a soup pack and some rustic bread and a real great meal. It's because this happened to be at Saline Valley. I got in late, it's December. And of course the sun goes down at 4.30 behind the Sierras, it gets dark at 5. I got in like at 6.30, really tired. Had a three layer meal all, all planned out and just was too tired to do it. And just, I pulled out the soup pack, 
had a nice rustic artisan bread. It was tasty and I was ready to go to sleep. <laughs> it was a tiring day. So here's the same way, that's my theme. Make it easy, but make it a little bit nicer too. Salisbury steak has rested. We've got our brioche bun all prepared. Let's have some of that. Oh boy, I can smell it, the sweetness of the onions and our tomatoes. I'm only using mustard, no cheese as you'll notice for this. So now that we have our Salisbury steak burger, our complex butter, lettuce and veggies, tomato, and just mustard, nothing else. It's time for a nice meal. Tonight I have a nice Barrage Cellars 2018 Syrah, real fruity. This will go nicely with the complex butter and the Salisbury steak hamburger. Wow. You really get some forward notes of the herbs on the beef. It gives it a really nice light thyme and rosemary note with the brie cheese at the mid palate. That's really nice. And it's layered. You can taste the different layers. There's some meat. Boy. <laughs> this is why I'm out of... <laughs> This is why I'm outside because I'm making a mess. <laughs> but this is so tasty. Mm. It's not just a hamburger. There's some really light flavorful notes to it also. The caramelized onions really come up. The tomatoes are on the backside and the herbs kind of blossom right mid palate there. It just makes you want to grab a nice Syrah. It's got a whole bunch of flavors. You can tell each one apart. This is really nice. No mayonnaise, no cheese, nothing else on here because it's all in the complex butter. For just a six ounce burger, that really hits the spot. I can't believe I ate it so fast. It was tasty, very tasty. Now it's time to kick back and enjoy the evening here. Thanks for coming along. I'm gonna follow up this video with house videos in my kitchen of how to make both the Salisbury steak and the complex butter. It's really easy. And what I've found is when you're on the trail, do things ahead of time and have the meals planned out it just makes it so much easier and you can just concentrate on the fun. Thanks for coming along on another Rubicon adventure. I'm Scotty Mack. Anyhow, I'm going to cut to the videos to make the Salisbury steak and the one that I used to make the compound butter. And then we'll for be For tonight's right dinner, we're having a hamburger steak, Salisbury to steak. A pound and a quarter of hamburger are freshly chopped garlic. I like a lot. So that's about four to five cloves. Nice size clothes, coarsely chopped uh, parsley, one fresh whole egg, dried rosemary, dried thyme, uh, dried progresso garlic and herb, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper. Mix that in together and form steaks. Then we'll put it in our travel container and have it prepped for dinner. Form the patties using your hands or a mold if you have and put them in your meat travel container ready for the trail. Now I like to put these in the freezer for an hour or if you're planning a three four day trip this is an extra an excellent mid tra uh, mid trip meal. To make the compound butter we'll need to start with two cubes of unsalted butter let allowed to come to room temperature as well as two ounces of brie cheese so that they mix quite well. I've taken three onions and caramelized them. Got just a dash of chopped parsley there, three ounces of diced and chopped figs, and one ounce of chopped sharp cheddar. Now let's mix it all in the bowl and make it into a compound butter Add roll. the ingredients to your mixing bowl and mix vigorously. Once you're finished mixing it, lay it out on your plastic sheet and roll it up. Roll it up into a circle and put it in the freezer. Use it here in the future. 
I have a mushroom sauce, a reduction sauce that I keep in the refrigerator in highly reduced form there. I can go either a sauce, a mushroom sauce over steak, or I can use, add cream and have it as a soup on its own. And I use that a bottle of their Cabernet Sauvignon. Remember, that's what Chef Jean-Pierre says, if you wouldn't drink the wine, don't cook with it. Cooking with bad wine does not make the wine better. <laughs> this is a fantastic, Barrage Soldiers is a fantastic wine. I will cook with it, but I'll drink with it also. So, get out and get into something new. I hope I inspired you to get out and get into something new.